here we are in the middle of a wood in Shropshire and I'm heading for a little stream that I know just over the hill and here I hope I shall find some ancient trilobites. These streams cut down into the Silurian bedrock which was laid down some 500 million years ago and I'm hoping that somewhere in amongst the uh, rocks of the stream and surrounding areas I might be able to find some Dalmanites which are another type of trilobite. Here is a fossilized layer with a razorfish type shell and a fragment of trilobite. Now these Dalmanites were laid down in the thick sediments of mud laid down at the bottom of an ocean. Another long shell, but beside it, looking rather like a butterfly, is the impression of a Dalmanite trilobite. So we move on to another location. It seems hard to believe that this part of Shropshire was once under a shallow ocean. At another spot this time. Here the rock is much harder, forming part of a small reef. And here we find the fossils of small shells of various kinds. But unfortunately, no trilobites today. Streams flow through the landscape here, cutting deep into the ancient Silurian layer. In this particular dell, the rock is fragile and stained with iron. But on the surface and inside is evident of many pieces of trilobite. And now we are where the strata runs under the roots of an old tree. And our first find is a small head of a Dalmanite trilobite that seems to have fallen down from the upper layers. As we prise the strata apart, we can see the various layers 
that contain the fossilized remains of ancient life. Dalmanites had eyes on either side of the head, or glabella, and these were compound eyes, not unlike those of bees today, and it is believed that these creatures were the first creatures on earth ever to be able to use vision. And now, I'm afraid we must leave the beautiful county of Shropshire.